Prior to performing the nasopharyngeal swab, ensure that the patient's mask is still on and covering their mouth, as this will protect you from any inadvertent coughing or sneezing during the procedure. To estimate the length of insertion to the nasopharynx, simply measure from the nasal ala, the ear canal, it's about seven to eight centimeters back from the nasal opening. The insertion in the nose is straight back parallel to the nasal floor. There is a tendency to insert the swab straight up or even at an angle. When doing this, you're aiming towards the roof of the nose or structures other than the nasopharynx. The key is actually hitting the nasopharynx, which is straight back in the nose parallel to the nasal floor. To perform the nasopharyngeal swab, the swab is inserted, advanced straight back towards the nasopharynx, approximately 7-8 centimeters. It's twisted back and forth for about 3-5 to five seconds 